Okay, now family, all in and look at the color of what we have. All in, and you're supposed to be on medium at this at this point. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. I your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. All of you when you ride on over here, let me extend a special welcome to you. Thank you so very much for joining the family. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of this journey, are still there with me? Man as I respect man. Post Thanksgiving video. I hope you all had a blessed Thanksgiving and I hope you no heat till no tail shoot. Okay? I hope you had a blessed Thanksgiving and everything was in good order. Let's proceed. Now today, JT, we're on to you. We're going to be making some peanut porridge. First and foremost, you need some raw peanut with a red bunny. You got to have some red on it, baby. You don't need the ones without the red. You have to have some red because it's in the, it's, it's in the red where the strength where the vim and the vigor, where the man them want there. So if you have it without the red, I think you got the wrong one. You forgot that you and get one new set with the red. Now you want to select some fresh um, peanut. This is fresh with a nice pretty red. And when they are getting brown, them steal. When you see them the red like this and them move back from the little light brown color, them steal. Be careful how you select your peanut. Now, what I'm going to do first and foremost, I am going to wash this peanut. I'm going to wash it while I'm not going to wash it on camera because I don't know what's going on over here so with the pressure of the water, you know, real embarrassing. So I'm going to put it in here in my sieve and I'm going to run it under my pipe and I'm going to be washing it thoroughly. So look here, I'm using one pound of peanut and I am um, it equals two cups. I leave everything for you in the description, okay? So you'll see how much porridge I get out of this pound of peanut. Let me go wash this and return. Okay, now family, all washed and I have it in this bowl. You're going to leave your peanut to soak for at least one hour. It is to help the peanut to blend out. You know, you want the peanut to blend out the smoothest you can. Remember, it's, you know, it's hard. So we're going to put just to cover it. Just enough water to cover the beans. Okay? So we're going to leave this for one hour. And when we return, we'll show you how we proceed with this peanut porridge. Okay, y'all? Okay, now, family, we are back. After one hour, and a lot of things are going to be happening here. But I just want you to just look, just look, relax, and look at what is happening. It's, we're trying to get a successful, smooth finish to our peanut porridge, okay? So after this one hour, this is what happens. We're going to strain the water from the beans, then, or whatever you want to call it. You see that water in there? Okay. So we want to use this water to infuse or use the cinnamon leaves and a little nutmeg maize that we have in here we want to use it to infuse the water so the way to do that is to get our heat up and we're gonna leave it at like you know probably about like medium to let it start boiling we want the cinnamon stick and the nutmeg maize to spice the water up mm? so we have it right here now we have our beans right here and peanut doesn't have a lot of gluten if any just like a minimal amount nothing much so you would need something to put with this peanut to give it a body you know when a long water porridge I run around a long like a river nail no so some people would proceed mostly to use some flour or most of them use this cornstarch now you can put some oats and I'm trying to use the quick oats because it has it has the texture well you know it's more fine so you everybody know what the quick oats look like more something like this it's you know 
it's easy to think so i'm gonna use the quick oats use what you want if you want to use the flour or the cornstarch or what do you use when you're making your peanut porridge now we want to get the peanut um come to a consistency for me the blender doesn't give it we want to get it as fine as possible so with the finer you get it the less it will cook you won't have to do that old year cook up cook to get out them see the see the grainy grainy it turns me off i can't take the, the peanut part do the whole of a grainy grainy taste in it so in, in order enough to have that you have to just have to cook, 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 go on forever and ever then the porridge loses its flavor so what i'm gonna do right here I'm going to be using the food process. I'm going to be using the multi-purpose blade. And I'm going to be putting some of this peanut in here. Remember, we soak it, so you're not supposed to give it a trouble. You know? So we don't want to load it up. So we're going to put just that for now. Huh? So, now that you have it like that, we want to make sure so we thing lock on and all of that. Let's go lock this thing in place and come, family. So, okay, now, family. We're going to put our processor at the thinnest because like from here to here represents how thin or how fine you would want the thing. I wouldn't say thin, I would say fine or right, so up here is the thickest. So we are using it at the thinnest and we are going to use the ice mold to get it all. We can probably go again. Now that it is at that stage, we can give some pumps. Now I think that should be fine. I want to show you all something. Whoops. So let us look at what is happening. Who wants to click off? You can go click off. We are trying to share with you how to get a, you know, place and taste in peanut porridge so look at this this is what it looks like this is what it looks like now look at the oats both of them are at the same thing you know they are at the same level okay what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go try to get most of this peanut to this level and when we return you're gonna see how we put in the oats and it together with our coconut coconut milk to get a smooth blend in the blender look at what is happening over here this is being fused so we can turn it right down huh right down so let us go get the rest of our peanut and we soon come back eh all right now family so we have three cups of this chopped peanut and you see it it's dry you notice it doesn't have let me show you you see it, it has some gluten you see but not a lot to let you understand okay so when you soak it, that's when the little small amount of gluten that is in there, you get it out. Remember, we did this in the um, food processor without water. So, okay, that is what we have. So we have three cups of chopped peanut. Now, this is not chopped. This is like finer than chopped, okay? So to these three cups of peanut now, we are going to add at least one cup of oats. Come remember, peanut porridge, you know, you know, one more than about one cup of that oats, yeah? A three quarter cup of it. You understand what I'm saying? So let's get this amount out in the oats and come back here. Eh? One cup of um quick oats. You could use um old fashioned, but you'd have to soak it too. Okay. Now where the liquid we're gonna use is our green coconut milk. Okay. We're gonna pour in. I leave for you in the description. I don't have to measure. I leave for you in the description. We don't want to pour in too much. We're using the blender, so you know you want some water in the blender, but we still look like we want a little more. So we're going to put this is our coconut milk. Okay, this is good. Now we want a peanut porridge for taste. Excellent. The kids they might not like it, and we have a while with kids them to like it. This is optional, you don't have to do it, but it gives it a nice flavor really nice buttery flavor to the porridge so we're gonna go with um use the your um like about this in peanut butter okay so use your your peanut butter of choice preferably one because this is like you know the brand okay with the best now we are gonna be putting it into our blender and the mode at which we are gonna do it is puree 
puree gives the, the thing a thick consistency so we're gonna leave it on the puree mode for about two to three minutes and come back to you okay now family first things first let's get out all of these that are in there all our spices we want to get them out try to get out everybody we don't want to leave anything in there so when the porridge has something and as I say, all who want to click off, you're going to click off right now. So we got out everything. If we have one thing, a little piece left. I don't think that should be a problem. Okay. Now, let's just try to get out. I think there's a small piece left on me. Just a little piece of, um, okay, yeah, we got it out. Oops. You know what? Come out here okay so now this is what we have all peanutty and everything get our flame back up because we want this thing to the water to start boiling on high now right on back over here look at this look at the body look at the texture and you can feel yeah there is no trace of the peanut um that's that that seediness of the peanut there is no trace of it okay now we're waiting on that water now to come to a boil because we want to get it in some boiling water high heat constantly stirring and make sure you're using a pot that the bottom is thick not a um not a um a thin bottom pot a large a thick bottom pot i'm looking for my spoon oh no no i'm special let me go get it and come back for me now if you don't have cinnamon leaf and a nutmeg mace and you're using the powder form you can blend it in here while you're you're doing this you can put it in there because sometimes when you put it in the hot water they tend to clump and all of that you know so you can use it in the blended part of the mixture now our water is boiling our excess um coconut milk we are eating it because more than likely we are gonna need it okay so the water is boiling and i so gently you're gonna be pouring out your mixture stir as you go along rapidly look at what i'm showing you constantly pouring constantly stirring down there in the bottom real slow we're gonna do it just as we're doing camera girl could you shoot them up at the color in the pot are they seen constantly slowly and constantly pouring from the blender okay and constantly stirring whilst we go we are gonna get it all in and return to you okay now family all in and look at the color of what we have all in and you're supposed to be on medium at this at this point and you're going to be constantly stirring it because you want the heat to get the oats the oats is going to be the binding in there now you know so you're going to be constantly stirring you don't need to cook this for more than about seven to ten minutes with the durée the longest because the coconut milk needs to cook okay so the peanut is at a pace where it don't need the long cooking the quick oats it don't need the long cooking the longest thing to cook there is the coconut milk so let us and you're going you've got to stir it stir it as you go along so the um the higher it gets and the more it comes to a boil the thicker it will get look at this does it it doesn't start boiling as it so you want to just constantly constantly but gently so the heat is coming out of it so you're going to start get that wallipa gluten the nice thickness the way you get out of the peanut porridge let us go do this and return and whilst you're doing that if it gets thick that is why you have the milk here you look at it you notice it's getting thick and that sort of you know that sort of little gluten thing has come through so this is where you have your excess coconut milk at a temperature almost like this if it comes too thick you carry it right down we soon come okay now family look at this look at it you see the power of it you know it is you know them good strong um coming porridge okay now we have the body look at this put the camera upon me we need some creaminess to this porridge so we are going to be adding some evaporated milk use your milk of choice and you do it the same way as you would do with the and um, the cook the, the, while you were doing it constantly you're pouring it all this is going to give it that extra creaminess that it needs so you're going to be pouring pouring in your evaporated milk everything is on medium right here we are on the medium so you have you give it some serious stir right at this point you're ready to put in your vanilla a tablespoon of vanilla if you have the stronger one 
you put you know you must put a small amount because it will get bitter look at this and you can see let us get all this evaporated milk thoroughly thoroughly combined and you will see that it has a different look you will see that we are at the texture of we're at the part where we are having the creaminess look at it you see there's a diff look at this look at this look at this y'all good things they take time good things they take time so we're gonna leave this please do not leave it unattended almost to low medium a little less than medium giving it the time the excess we have, we have about four minutes to go for the coconut milk to be properly cooked when we return we'll be sweetening with our condensed milk and we'll be adding just a little dash of nutmeg so we'll come okay now family look at this and it start to catch at the bottom so we're going to turn our flame off now just slightly catching we added our nutmeg off camera just like a probably about a half of it or a quarter of a teaspoon to this amount for me okay so look at it this is it now we're gonna add our sweetener which is a tin of condensed milk and i'm gonna pour in all of this because these condensed milk nowadays them acting very 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 workless they are not the condensed milk of old parry could family could you please comment this is the sweetener remember to turn your flame off before you proceed to sweeten could you please comment i don't know if it's jamaica alone but these condensed milk nowadays they are not like those not even a quarter of those of old now we have our flame off and we have poured in our sweetener use your sweetener of choice and we are stirring 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 to get it where we want it we're gonna scrape in a quick scraping around the sides look at this So what you want to do right here now, you want to use your spoon to taste for salt perfection. Remember we had it that amount of um, peanut butter and it has salt. So we want to know one yes, if we ever want a little more salt. And at this point you can just use the tip of your spoon and you can taste. And probably yes, when you do it like this, you would come now and you would rinse your spoon. Your spoon will not be going back in there unless you want to taste a little but you have just rinsed it okay so nothing is wrong with using a spoon to taste but you don't put the whole spoon down in your mouth that is unacceptable eh? so now we can take a pinch of salt for me i don't know about you when you do yours to the amount so i'm going to be using this just to help to bring the flavor up and i'm going to be constantly stirring to get everything dissolved and i'm going to dissolve this right here right now and I'm not going to be using a ladle. I'm going to be pouring from the pot to the serving bowl to let you see the consistency, the smoothness of this porridge. Okay? Let us give it the final touch. Scraping around. And that giving that scrape around down there. And this powerful final stir. We're going to be serving right in your face. From my kitchen to yours. From my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your breakfast table, and most of all to your plate and to your stomach, it is my Jamaican peanut porridge. Let us stop there. Presentation will stop right there. And you know what happened? You realize we did not make a mess. Now look at this. Look at this camera girl. Could you shoot them up on this? All this is waiting for, it is the spoon to go at the side and to present to who you're presenting to to have this peanut porridge look at the color of the peanut porridge and when you do for yourself you will see the text put the camera on the camera girl she showed she showed you the color of the peanut porridge when you do for yourself if you follow my method you will taste the texture you will get the finishing of this this is my peanut porridge version when you use this method you will not be there cooking 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 boiling 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 this is my peanut porridge JT I want the thing lit now sir um 
today's post notification shout out we did not get to but look on the screen your name will be coming up on the screen as i speak somewhere along the screen post notification shout out will be going and you look somewhere along the screen your name will be there hope you had a blessed thanksgiving as i said before hope everything is okay what you want to have this with some selfish fritters for your christmas morning table this is what a man them want Debbie from Dollar Yard, bless, no stress.